Hi everyone, my name is Sushant Jaswal and I am the Chief Election Commissioner of IIT Madras. Well, the moment we hear the word IIT Madras, Indian Institute of Technology Madras, the most amazing things that pop into our mind is the campus life or is the student life that we all aspire to live for. Well, being a student at IIT Madras, we ensure that the best of life is given to each and every student. May it be culturals, may it be academics, may it be sports or anything. From Shastra, Sarang to e-Summit to various other big events that you all must have been seeing across the social media. Well, as the Chief Election Commissioner of Student Election Commission at IIT Madras, my job is to conduct the biggest democratic festival of IIT Madras. That is nothing but Students' General Elections 2024. The very first idea that we want to talk about is campaign that is Operation 100. Well, the campaign launch of Operation 100 happened in somewhere around the month of March, right? And the basic idea of campaign is that we want to reach a 100% voter turnout, not just in the Students' General Election 2024, but even in the 18th Lok Sabha elections, which the whole India is going to go through in the upcoming months. The campaigning ambassadors, the backbone of our campaign, that is Operation 100, were these campaigning ambassadors. So the idea was to ensure that each and every student from every department and hostel is being recruited and on an average every campaigning ambassador has a reach of around 20 students, right? That every campaigning ambassador can reach out to at least 20 students from his or her respective department and hostels and tell them that elections are coming up in the institute, please cast your vote. Considering the fact that uh, we are going to you know, make this Operation 100 a grand success. It is very important that our candidates or the students who are contesting for these 172 posts, it is very important that they themselves should be, you know, of uh, healthy mind, of healthy body, as well as they should be aware about the whole election procedure and not just about, you know, the profile or the particular post for which they are applying. Well, if that is the case, we conducted something called briefing hour. Well, it's a particular hour wherein we, you know, conduct for at least, uh, you know, two or three hours wherein we brief them about mental health well-being, right? And in about mental health well-being, we also brief them about the campaigning guidelines and subsequent procedures and clarifying their doubts regarding SG 2024. Now, to make sure that uh, Student General Election 2024 comes closer to the you know, national level elections or even to the election that happens outside the institute, it is very important that you know we have some similarities. To give that same feeling, we brought in the idea of stamp. You know, ensure that every voter after casting the vote had a stamp on their hand. And you know, as a challenge, we in fact you know asked the students to post it on the Instagram or social media handles and tag uh, SEC IIT Madras to ensure the safeguard and to ensure the safety of the votes and everything. We ensure that we integrate with technology. And this year too, we had integrated with technologies like blockchain to ensure the safety and security of the votes. And we had brought in the idea of remote voting as well. Now, remote voting is only for those set of students who are not available in the institute at the or on the day of polling. Somewhere around 80 students were not there in the institute because of some reasons. To them, we had given this online remote voting you know, leverage, wherein this was fully secured. We had sent them the link via mail, and then they had to put in their LDAP credentials and then unique passcode and everything was sent to them by a you know, OTP system directly to their SMLs. All this was done. And then they finally secured the vote, they casted their vote. And by the end of the day, their votes were secure. They were able to voice their opinion by not even being in the institute. So for the wall painting, we had a very unique idea. So we have a very big grandeur wall painting, which SEC you know, has created in collaboration with the finance club of IIT Madras. During the you know, inauguration for campaigning 100 or the, during the campaign launch that was Operation 100, SEC came up with the idea that we are going to recognize each and every student and each and every voter who casted the vote on the day of polling by giving them certificates of appreciation or certificates of rec uh, recognition. For this particular recognition, we gave them online e-certificates. These have been given to all the voters. There are around 6,700 voters who casted their votes. We have recognized each and everyone's effort. And that's something very unique, which we have, uh, and which I believe none of the election commissions have done across India, not even any college election commission. But it's very first time that we have done in the institute. We ourselves have done it because we feel it's important to recognize the efforts of every person. Operation 100 was an initiative launched by Student Election Commission which aimed to maximize voter turnout and to achieve 100% voters turnout. 
It was a campaign that was launched on 28 February 2024 in the presence of State Election Commissioner of Tamil Nadu, Mr. V. Palani Kumar Sir, Prof. V. Kamakoti, Director IIT Madras, Prof. Satyanarayanan Gumbadi, Dean of Students, Prof. Sudhakar Chandran, Chief Election Officer and Prof. M. Jagan Mohan, Deputy Election Officer. Mr. V. Palani Kumar Sir delivered a keynote lecture on the importance of voting in the democracy and he urged the youth of IIT Madras to vote in the nationwide elections. Green campaigning was aimed at reducing the environmental impact of the electoral process. In our Model Code of Conduct and Election Manual, we banned the use of printed media, posters and flyers. As students of IIT Madras, we take pride in conducting the first ever blockchain technology based elections in this country. And this year, we repeated the history. Plenom, an IIT incubated startup, helped us in creating blockchain technology based portal. And with that, we conducted the IITM speaker elections. Plenom used Polygon public blockchain, which was operated on a web based application. Students who were voters, they were able to cast their votes from their hostel polling booths as well as common polling booths and they were able to access this web-based application from their laptops available in the polling booth. By the use of e-card for voting, we made sure that we make polling booths accessible for students. Students were not required to travel to the static polling booths present in their hostels and the common areas, but they were able to access e-card polling booths from wherever they are. By this, we made sure that we adapt the electoral process according to the lifestyle of students and make voting accessible for them. An institute-wide voter turnout competition was arranged for various hostels and departments. Rewards were given to the hostels and departments with the highest voter turnout. This made sure that unity and competition is fostered among students and students are encouraged to collaborate and vote. Soapboxes are the open debate forums in which voters and candidates are able to interact. By revitalizing offline soapboxes for the Executive Council post, we made sure that the candidates are made accountable and are answerable to the questions of the electorate. Student Election Commission collaborated with the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India for sending the personalized messages to students regarding the importance of voting and date and time of voting. Student Election Commission collaborated with various student bodies like CFI, Mitra and IITM TV. By collaborating with IITM TV, we made sure that every small moment of the polling process is documented and recorded and can serve as a model for institute-wide and the nationwide elections. This is Meenakshi Anup, Election Commissioner, Student Election Commission, IIT Madras. I will be giving you a rather comprehensive explanation of the voting procedure of Students' General Elections 2024. The voting day was conducted on March 12, 2024 from around 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. We have polling booths at multiple areas across the campus. Number one, we have 22 hostels out of which we have polling booths set up in 21 hostels. Along with that, we also have certain common booths. For instance, we have a common booth at Engineering Design Building, at Electrical Sciences Block, at Humanities and Social Sciences Block, at the Sudha and Shankar Innovation Hub, at uh, G4 Residential Quarter, so that we cater to the research scholars, as well as the uh, polling booth, which is a mobile polling booth. So, a golf cart was used as a mobile polling booth with the objective of making polling station reach the uh, voters. On March 12th at 2 p.m., what a voter has to do is, he or she will have to go to their respective polling booth, that is their hostel or any of the common booths. And what the first thing they have to do is, they have to report to the booth official. Now, the booth official will do multiple things. The, the booth official will be checking the student's physical ID card. The booth official will have an electoral list. Now, the booth official will be checking this list and making sure that the ID card uh, details and the electoral details match. Once this is done, the booth official will make sure that the student signs on a particular piece of paper. Now, once this initial registration process is done, the booth official in a, on a small piece of sticky note will provide the student or the voter a piece of a unique passcode. Now, what is this unique passcode? Now, we will move on to the voting portal. Voting portal is fairly simple. The student, once they receive the unique passcode, they will have to keep their electronic gadgets on the gadget table or with the booth official so that uh, we ensure no tampering has been done. 
So once a student goes to the polling station, they will be sitting in front of a laptop. So the voting portal will be integrated into this laptop. Now the student, once they sit in front of the laptop, he or she has to do one, a few things. One, they will have to enter their LDAP credentials. Now the LDAP credentials is credentials that is provided by the institute for accessing institute resources such as the student mail, workflow, etc. Now once the student enters their LDAP credentials, number two, the student will have to enter this unique passcode that is provided by the booth official into the portal. Once this is done, they will be able to successfully enter the voting portal. Now a few things about the voting portal, the student will have a total of 10 minutes duration to vote for a total of around 17 posts. We have 9 executive council posts, that is for all the students on campus. We have 7 hostel council posts which is specific to the student's hostel and we also have 1 department post. Now they, have, they will have to vote for these 17 posts within these 10 minutes. They have a total chance of 3 times to log into the portal. Now, once a person logs in, they will be able to see all the students who are standing for that particular post so that they can vote for them. IIT Madras Student Election Commission follows the instant runoff and preferential voting system. In this system, you have three options. You should provide preferences to your candidates, one, two, three and so on. You can abstain your candidates from voting for that particular post where it means that you don't want to vote for that particular post or you can reject the candidates of your post which basically means nota or none of the above. Once this system is done for all 17 posts, the, candidate, uh, the student, the voter, will have to move on and submit their vote. Once they submit their vote, they will get a message saying that you have voted successfully. This, comes, uh, this marks the end of the voting procedure. A few days later, the dean student's office uh, and dean students will be sending out the election results to the rest of the students. That is, uh, through S-mail, we will be releasing it to all the students uh, in IIT Madras. This is how the elections are uh, handled in IIT Madras. This is how it has been handled in the students' general elections 2024 as well. Today, I sit here before you proudly to announce the grand success of Operation 100 Every Vote Matters. The IIT Madras student community, staff and faculty had showed unwavering commitment and dedication not just to exercise their democratic right as well as duty to vote and also to show their commitment towards civic engagement in electoral process but also to show that in utilizing technology and integrating innovation we will be able to achieve remarkable success in driving voter participation. IIT Madras has achieved a great feat in students' general elections 2024. We have achieved a staggering 60% voter turnout which is a first of its kind in IIT Madras history. However, this milestone should be understood in a greater context in which the campaign operates, the upcoming 18th Lok Sabha election. The success of this operation, this operation being a beacon of inspiration, shows that every student across campus, every first generation voter, every citizen across the country should actively participate in this electoral process. Finally, I wish to conclude by thanking and showing gratitude to every single person who has shown dedication and compassion for achieving this great success of Operation 100 Every Vote Matters. Let us carry this momentum forward for a bigger and brighter future of our nation. Thank you.